ICAP is initiating e-marking system from Spring 2019 attempt. ICAP will adopt a phased approach while moving over to e-marking system. In order to meet the requirements of e-marking system, ICAP has redesigned its answer script with machine-readable features. Old design answer script will continue to be used in those papers which are not assessed using e-marking system. ICAP will announce the papers to be marked under e-marking system at least 15 days before the commencement of each examination. This video has been developed for the guidance of students who would be appearing in those papers which will be assessed through e-marking system. This video has been developed for demo purposes only. Size and colors of various boxes and design of answer script may slightly differ from the actual answer script to be provided in the examination hall. Main answer script will be provided to students present in examination hall 15 minutes before the commencement of reading time to allow them to read the instructions on it and fill in the front page. Now I will explain to you the specifics of the newly designed answer script. Here is the front page of the main answer script. You have to fill in this page using a black ballpoint pen only. You will see two barcodes on the front page. First barcode is at the top while second is at the bottom of the page. You must not write on the barcodes. Any damage to the barcodes would hinder the electronic processing of your answer script. Just below the ICAPS logo, there is a box with six sub boxes. Here, you will tick the relevant sub box whenever you take any supplementary script. For example, on taking the first supplementary script, you should tick on the sub box 1. On taking the second supplementary script, you should tick on the sub box 2 and so on. Below the box to record the supplementary script, you will find boxes to write your name and the subject. You should write your name and the subject in block letters in neat and clean handwriting. Below the subject box, you will find three boxes. In the second box, you will place your signature. However, you should not do anything in the first box which contains signature of director examinations and the third box which will be signed by the invigilator. Below the signature boxes, on the left side, you will see examples showing how the CRN is to be filled. Adjacent to the example box, you will see a large rectangular box about you in which you should write your CRN and shade the relevant circle in the same manner as mentioned in the example. Now I am demonstrating it here which will help you in understanding the correct method of writing the CRN and shading the correct circle. First, I am writing the 6 digit CRN that is 098215 in 6 square shaped boxes. Now I am shading the relevant circles that is first circle in the first row for 0. Second circle in the last row for 9. Third circle in the ninth row for 8. Fourth circle in the third row for 2. Fifth circle in the second row for 1. And sixth circle in the sixth row for 5. You should shade the circle properly and avoid any of the wrong methods given in the example. Adjacent to the About You box, you will find instructions that must be read before writing anything on the answer script. Here is the front page of supplementary answer script. You will fill in the details on this page in the same manner 
as you did in the main answer script. Whenever you take a supplementary answer script, immediately write your CRN in the designated space and shade the machine readable circles for CRN in the same manner as you did in the main answer script. Adjacent to the ICAPS logo, there is a box with six subboxes for mentioning supplementary answer script number. For example, in case of first supplementary script tick mark at 1 and second supplementary script tick mark at 2 and so on. It must be noted that there is no space at the supplementary answer script to write your name and subject. Now I will explain you how to write inside the answer script. There are 32 pages in main answer script and 12 pages in supplementary answer script designed for e-marking. You should not write your answers on the back page of the front page and the back cover page of your answer script. Anything written on these pages will not be considered for marking. You are allowed to write answers on 29 pages in the main answer script and on 9 pages in the supplementary answer script. Start each question on a new page. However, an answer could be extended to any number of pages. There are two barcodes on every page. First barcode is at the top while second is at the bottom of the page. Avoid writing on the barcodes. Any damage to the barcodes would hinder the electronic processing of your answer script. There are four L-shaped marks at every corner of each page. Anything written outside these marks will not be considered for marking. You should write the question number which you are attempting in the square shaped boxes present in the first row at every page. Example 1 If you are attempting question 1 and it has no subparts, then write 1 in the first box and leave the second and third box blank. Example 2 if question 2 has two subparts and you are attempting question 2A, then write 2 in the first box, A in the second box, and leave the third box blank. Before submission of the answer script, check and ensure that front page of main and all supplementary answer script taken by you have properly been filled in. You have marked the number of supplementary scripts attached in the relevant box at the front page of main answer script and you have marked the supplementary number in the relevant boxes at all the supplementary answer scripts taken by you. After checking, you should ask the invigilator to staple your supplementary scripts with your main answer script at the time of submitting your answer script.